it's an idea that sounds crazy because it sounds backwards. It's saying, we don't want you to use heroin, so why don't you come on into this building and use heroin? It sounds backwards, but it works. We've had five overdose deaths here in the last three weeks. When we keep people in the shadows, when we push them away, they never get the primary care, they never get the mental health care, and they never get the access to treatment that they need. When they are using inside a supervised injection facility, they have access to all those things. First, it saves lives. It lowers your disease rate. Less HIV, less hepatitis. Fewer needles in public parks, fewer needles in the bathroom, just less public consumption all around. Throughout Europe, in Australia and Canada, it's proven that people who use supervised injection facilities are 30% more likely to recover from using heroin. And that's what we want. We want people to stop using heroin. You know, I knew from a young age that we had to try something different because my father was a drug addict. I mean, he is a drug addict. You're always an addict, even when you're in recovery. We had the same sort of rehab programs that we've tried before. Those never worked, and yet we still kept trying them. It was damaging to our family, so damaging, inexpensive to our community. It didn't work, and I told myself if ever I got the chance, I wanted to build a better system so that little kids wouldn't have to grow up the way I did, and that people who use drugs can have a better chance of a life of health and, and, uh, and possibly sobriety. We don't talk about elected officials who best describe historic problems. We talk about elected officials who solve problems. Right now, with heroin problems, You've got a lot of elected officials who are happy to just stand up and give a speech about how bad heroin is and then sit back down. That is not leadership. You're just admiring the problem, defining the problem, but not actually solving it. And we need solutions. We work here, we pay taxes here, we go to school here, we contribute to this country, and we are what makes this country great. Thank you for having me here.